In this video, I'm going to give you the rundown of my predictions for the upcoming F1 2024 season. To some of you, you might think that these are reasonable predictions, and to others you might think that these are far-fetched, but regardless of whether you agree or disagree with me, be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. My first prediction, which may or may not come as a surprise, is that I believe that the 2024 season will be the last that we see of Fernando Alonso in F1. Alonso's current contract expires at the end of the 2024 season, and I cannot see Aston Martin providing him with a multi-year contract extension, no matter how well he drives, simply down to him being 42 years of age, which makes it hard for the team to invest in him for the long term. Also, Aston Martin potentially giving him a one-year contract extension wouldn't make much sense either, to me, as F1 silly season is only around the corner, as many of the other drivers too have contracts that are expiring at the end of 2024. So if Aston were to offer Alonso a one-year deal, it would completely offset them in relation to the driver market. But regardless of whether or not Aston Martin want to offer Alonso a contract or not, I think that the Spaniard might call it a day at his own discretion. Aston Martin had a phenomenal start to the season, but they soon fell off due to their lack of understanding of their development, and they recently came out and said that they won't be as competitive for 2024 as they were for 2023, so I can't really see the motivation for Alonso to carry on in his mid-40s. And unlike last year, where he was fighting for regular podiums and occasional race win opportunities, this year he'll probably be in the midfield, so I think that this will also play a factor in this being his last season in F1. My second prediction for the F1 2024 season is that there will be a significant increase in tension between the McLaren duo of Oscar Piastri and Lando Norris. I already made a separate video covering this topic, so you can find the link to this video in the video description. But to briefly touch upon this again, I think that Oscar Piastri will make significant improvements in his racecraft and that he will eventually begin to outperform Lando Norris near the second half of the season. Qualifying pace and his raw speed in the races has never been an issue for Piastri. However, where he usually falls short on is his tyre management skills, and this is why Norris particularly manages to outperform him in the second half of the stint in the races. And I think that it is no surprise as to why Piastri looked so strong at Qatar, as this was the sprint race where mandatory pit stops enforced, which enabled him to focus less about tyre wear and more about his raw pace. Additionally, the 2024 season will be a blank canvas for both drivers, and it should be more of an equal playing field than what we saw last season. During the 2023 season, Piastri was obviously a rookie, so there was bound to be teething problems and areas of inexperience for the Australian. However, this season, he at least has a year's worth of driving under his belt, which should make him more competitive. And during the 2023 season, we often saw Norris get car upgrade parts a race earlier than his teammate, so this was giving him a competitive advantage. However, due to McLaren being more competitive than they were this time last season, we should not really be seeing this, and hopefully both drivers will get equal treatment to race and this could create fireworks. It is also important to add that Norris has recently decided to extend his contract with McLaren, so this driver lineup will most likely be one that we see for many years to come, and I wouldn't be surprised if both drivers fight tooth and nail to solidify themselves as being the number one driver of the team. The third prediction might come across as obvious, given that this rumour seems to be never-ending, and with there being constant speculation in the media about it, but my predictions is that Carlos Sainz will not extend his time at Ferrari, and that he will instead make the move to Audi for the 2025 season. Despite Carlos being somewhat competitive at Ferrari, and with him sometimes getting the better of his teammate Charles Leclerc, I think it's obvious to see that he is not the main man at the team, and that if one of them were to fight for a championship, that Charles is just simply the faster driver. And Sainz not being the main man was further confirmed after Charles Leclerc just recently signed a multi-year contract with the team, whereas there have been rumours that Carlos's contract extension talks have reached a roadblock. In addition to this, his father also has ties with Audi, so it just makes sense for all parties, in my opinion, and it would make even more sense that he gets at least one year's of experience under his belt with the team in 2025 before the new regulations drop for 2026. Although Sainz is not a blisteringly quick driver like the Hamiltons, Verstappens and Leclercs of this world, I do think that he is still a number one driver, 
and I do think that he can challenge for a title over a season, mainly down to his consistency. So if Audi can produce a title competing car for 2026, then I see no reason why Sainz cannot do a job there. The fourth prediction essentially follows on from the third, but my fourth prediction is that the Alpine driver of Pierre Gasly will leave the French team to fill in the vacant spot that will be at Ferrari once Carlos leaves to Audi. Pierre Gasly has shown that he is a strong driver in 2023 as he was the better driver against Esteban Ocon in his first year at the team and I think that he's already displayed how good he was during his time at Alpine. Unlike Carlos Sainz who potentially causes headaches at Ferrari as he thinks that he and Charles are equal in status, I think that if Gasly were to go to the Maranello-based team that he would understand that he is the number two driver of the team and we might see a similar dynamic to how Ferrari was of the past when they actually won championships. If you follow the rumors and speculation in the F1 community, you'd know that Alex Albon is always tipped to join Ferrari, but I personally cannot see it. We need to remember that Albon was partnered with Latifi in 2022 and that he was partnered with Sargent in 2023, so despite how good his performances are, we need to take them with a grain of salt. I personally think that Gasly would be the safer option and better option also from a marketing perspective for Ferrari as Gasly is very popular outside of F1 too. And finally, I believe that both Leclerc and Gasly are very close friends. So the possibility of there being friction at the team, like there is with Gasly and Ocon should not happen. The fifth prediction is pretty much guaranteed so I'll keep it short and brief. But my prediction is that Red Bull will dominate the F1 2024 season and that they'll win both the Drivers' and Constructors' Championship. I already made a video about this, which can be found in this video description. But to summarize what was said, Red Bull simulator driver Jake Dennis confirmed that the RB20 felt great in the simulator and that rival teams would have to find around a one second per lap improvement if they want any chance of challenging Red Bull. He also noted that Red Bull had shifted their focus from the RB19 to the RB20 since Singapore last year, and when you take into account that there is a cost cap which limits teams on the amount that they can spend on developing the car, it makes it virtually impossible for anybody to close the gap. As for who is going to win the Drivers' Championship, it is pretty self-explanatory, really. Sergio Perez is not a good enough driver to ever be a championship threat, and as long as Red Bull have by far the fastest car with a mediocre second driver, Verstappen will most likely keep winning. I don't think that the 2024 season will be as dominant as the 2023 season was, but it will still be whitewash for Red Bull. I can especially see the early part of the 2024 season being extremely dominant as both Mercedes and Ferrari have started completely new design concepts, so it might take them a while to correlate the data and get up to speed, but potentially as Tynes goes on, they will improve. Hopefully I'm wrong, and either Mercedes Ferrari or McLaren can take the fight to Red Bull, but I just simply cannot see this happening. Hey guys, I need your help. So most of you might be unaware of this, but as well as running both this channel and my TikTok channel, I am also a third year undergraduate student at university, so I'm also doing my courses and my dissertation. I am now currently in the process of gathering data for my dissertation, which is focused around how artificial intelligence technology has impacted the way that football fans now perceive and interact with football. Therefore, my research method is to gather the opinions of football fans about AI technology in football through an anonymous online survey that I have created. So if you are a football fan and have 10-15 minutes of your time to spare, it would do me a world of good if you could complete this survey as it is for my dissertation. The link to the survey can be found in the first link of the video description and it will be pinned in the comments section. Thank you.